was another one of those days. Um, it started with a surprise. This person knocked on my door. They were asking me if they could get my number. And I discovered that my phone had not been paid. Um, usually it's someone else that has done it. Uh, they, they do this thing where every couple of weeks or months they don't pay it on time. So I go like two or three days without having... Uh, the ability to be called by anybody but this is the first time that's happened since I started working and I know the route to get to the job just you know instinctively without like using maps or anything at least during the day but at night I was more worried because you know things look different during uh, I guess darker periods or just where when the sun's down and a lot of these places don't have lights um I had mentioned before that one of the few things I get from my job as an employee is a discount. Now they had this one, you know, manager that was like messing up the discounts or whatever. Like they basically, you like you order two of something, and everybody else will just click the thing. You get both of them half off. They this person entered it in, and you get it to where it's one half off and then one full price, which is just insane to me. Um, and I saw that person there today. I had the new system where every time I see them on the schedule, I, I won't like order from there. And um, there was another manager that took that applied the discount, and it ended up being the same thing that this other one does. Of you know, you get one half off and then pay full price for the other. So I decided after that I would no longer uh, eat at this place ever again. Um, there is a place I believe a block or two away from me that has similar type food for I'd say a few dollars off I just I just always felt it was easier to you know if you're on your way to work just get something from there than have to make another stop but I'll do that if it means not being uh cheated out of an extra seven dollars because they've done that now three times and that's 20 something bucks just you know for the sake of their own greed um the first time I was you know, like staying over here the night that happened, I was, I got back at, you know, from my job late 12, one really couldn't see the street signs or I guess the different stuff that was just up. I wasn't that familiar with the neighborhood, at least to where I knew the signs and what was on them. And I came out and I woke up with a nice, um, parking ticket and I paid the thing instantly. I was annoyed, but whatever. And I started parking inside the, uh, lot to get in there, even though it's a real annoyance to me because these people are always parked on the sidewalk in front of both the sides of the driveway and also on the sidewalk adjacent to the driveway. So it makes it to where you have like less space trying to get in because they're just taking up each piece of sidewalk, um, you know, just making harder to get in. But I said, you know what, whatever, it's a thing I deal with. I don't like it because it means that every time I try to go and leave, it's a hassle depending on what day it is. Um, but I said, okay, whatever. It's just, that's part of the annoyances of just the day to day stuff. Now, even if it's something I don't like, I just deal with it. I go and pull up today to go into the spot. And then before I go in, I notice that there's a car parked on the side of where I normally park. And that car was not there before when I left earlier in the day, you know, six, seven, eight hours ago. And this creates a new problem because where it's parked is somewhere that is, you know, right next to where I would park. So this means that whoever that whoever whoever's car that is at any point during the day could say, hey, can you move this so I can get out? Can you move this so I can get and this could be during the early afternoon, during the evening. And it, it just creates another annoyance uh, for me uh, because sometimes I'm sleeping during the mornings or the afternoons depending on how tired I am. So. I'd hate to be woken up by someone knocking so that because they can't get out. But that's what makes it all the more irritating because there was no car parked there up in, for like the last two months. And suddenly there's a vehicle there, which they can you know use as the uh, reason to bother me. But like all in total, it's just, you know, between the wonders of not having internet or the phone being off uh, and more attempts to cheat me out of money with these horrendous nerfing of discounts and uh 
a potential new problem with somebody being parked there and me having to possibly get out during, you know, whatever hour of the night or day to come and move so they can drive wherever it, it's just another hassle. I, I, I really do agree with the expression when it rains, it pours, but I just felt like I had to vent. I'll get back to other stuff over the course of the week. We just had the DNC wrap up and it was uh, quite an event. I actually, if I didn't get back so late, because I, I wasn't able to watch the DNC live, I probably would have um, done at least a video relating to that, but I just was too tired and like just in returning. So I'll try again in the, in the coming days to get over, get deal with the stuff.